down on the live. Um, but so uh, I was talking about Sanat Kamara, and he was talking about creating uh, magnetic fields in art and creating magnetic fields um, around you to protect you, and how that is a way a way of getting people. Uh, it's it's a light working method, a way of getting people to see the light is creating these magnetic fields around you and also creating magnetic fields in your artwork. So, um, so, and then what was I going to say? Oh, and one other thing I just wanted to talk about was, uh, two other things, sorry, talking too much, but uh, really quick, <laughs> uh, is that uh, uh, someone was asking about um, clearing spaces. So I thought the Sunak Kamara is really interesting about clearing spaces. Um, he would he would say that you can protect your space by building a magnetic field around your space, and then also for clearing spaces. So I've been uh, training with uh, Archangel Michael recently. I've been training. He's been training me how to use my sword, and I think I did a video about it before, but I didn't go into much detail. But so there was a question about it, so I just wanted to bring it up. So your sword. Everyone has their own sword. And it's like the um, idea of Excalibur. Um, and when you're ready to use your sword, uh, Archangel, Archangel Michael will help you to pull the sword out of the stone. And once you do, uh, up, up until the, the time that you can't use your, uh, up until the, that time, you can actually call on Archangel Michael and he will help to clear space for you. But once you're able to use your sword, so he's kind of training me. He's kind of, he's sending me into places that are not too dark, <laughs> the places that I can handle uh, at at my level. And so he sent me into that cloister um, that's in rural Pennsylvania uh, that um, had needed to needed some clearing to do. It's it's not operational anymore. So I'm just clearing energies from 200, 300 years ago. Um, but the way that we did it um, is, so you hold your sword in front of you, and then uh, in your mind, you hold your sword, and then you, you, you surround yourself with that energy. And then you do, we did this like spinning motion, and we just start spinning and spinning and spinning, and then uh, not physically, but just spinning um, using your, your third eye, and you're spinning and spinning, and you're spinning that light, and it just like shoots all of that light all around that whole area. And it's just this like love shower. And so the people, the people that were still there, that were um, the energies were still there, were were very surprised when it happened. And as soon as we finished, he said, "We got to get out of here because they're going to start asking questions, and it's going to be too confusing for them." So <laughs> we just kind of escaped the area. But what the people felt there, um, it was just this this rush of energy, and, and they were awake after you know 100, 200 years of of being stuck in a certain place. And what's going on? What's going on? And so. It's really important that we kind of leave the area for some reason. I guess just I guess it would be too confusing. Like, what's this guy with this sword doing really? So, but that's the method, and that we all have the ability to do it. And all we have to do is ask and um, see if if you're ready to to pick it up. I think everyone is is pretty much ready for it. Um, so yes, using your sword to clear spaces. I think that will come in more handy too in the times that we're coming into. Um, so that you'll you'll have that, um, and it's not a defensive sword. It's not an attacking sword. It's a sword of light. It's a sword of just. Uh, it's like a big flashlight sword, you might say. So, um, those were the two things I wanted to say at first, and then, um, yeah. So, if anyone has any questions or anything they want to um, say, go ahead. Uh, if not, I can just blabber on forever. <laughs> So, Jason, back to the Sanat Kamara stuff when you create mm. your magnetic field. So mm. do we just create that just with our consciousness and our heart and our intention, is it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So I talked to him this morning. So I was walking by the river and uh, I was talking to him about it. And he said, yes, it's it's we are creator beings. He said, we are creator beings and we are able to to create. And we're always creating. We created this world that we see, everything that we see, we're creating it. Um, so just by the same token, it's just an act of focused creation. So using your will to create it. And so that's, I said, it's really simple. Just that, that intention is all you need, is what he said. So, and then, yeah. Um, uh, if there's any, let's see. 
Oh, by the name, uh, by the name, by the name. The, by the way, the name of the book again is called The Story of Sanat Kumara by Jen, Janet McClure. Oh, and there it is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You got, you've got the hard. Okay. Nice. <laughs> it usually takes a long time for those books to come here. So I always get them on Kindle. <laughs> um, I, know, I was just reading it this morning after, um, after getting your email. I'm like, oh, I better read about the goats again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. It's a really such a cool recommendation. Like he's he's, so, um, go ahead. No, no, you go on, you go on, Jason. Oh no, no, he he yeah. He just said that that was that was a uh, chance I think operation that that was meant to you were meant to recommend that book to me. Yeah, and it was so funny the way I recommended to you because I just felt like I had to just show you. So it was just strange, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. It was, yeah. And it was exactly what, you know, it's this, oh, this is what I'm doing. And wow. And he has, you know, more, he has better methods than I do. Of wow. So you chatted with him this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So he said that, um, you know, we're all, he is us. We are him. He's having our experiences and we're having his experiences. And that he said that it's, you know, anytime you want to connect, it's, you know, it's very easy. So uh, maybe maybe I'll just bring them through. Okay. Let's try, yeah, let's try that. So, okay, so uh, trying to connect with Sanat Kumara, the planetary logos, the, the, the man or the being who has facilitated all of our experiences on the planet. Let's see. Greetings. Yes, I am Sanat. You can call me Kamara. You can call me Sanat. You can call me whatever you wish. It's fine. Uh, I am you and you are me and we are we and we are all together. Ha -ha. So now this being, I talked to this being this morning. Yes, we, we communicated. Uh, it's a wonderful experience to communicate with you uh, directly. I can't jump into you, into your lives, but you can jump into mine. You can come up and talk to me whenever you want. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to get you through all of these things. I see you in all of your experiences, and I understand what you're going through, and I am just here, just experiencing them with you. I am facilitating all of these experiences for you on this planet, on this beautiful, 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 beautiful planet that you're all on and that we're on together. And isn't this wonderful that we can connect like this? The planetary logos of, of your earth is talking with you directly because we can do this. This is fine, but there's free will. And I don't want to jump into that. I don't want to get into your free will. But if you want to contact me, I am here whenever you need. 24-7, you might say, I am here. Uh, ready to to talk with you and to help you because i have had all of these experiences that you're having i know everything that you're going through and i know everything i'm saying i know every experience that you're going through because i am experiencing it with you i'm facilitating it you are experiencing it with me we're experiencing it together so i truly understand what you are going through and i know i know how difficult this is all is because i've been there on the street level before as well and but now i'm up here experiencing them all together and so i know i know i know i know i can help you if you want help if you don't want help that's fine i understand that as well and maybe you don't need help and that's fine as well but if you'd like to ask me please ask ask anything because i'm here i'm here i'm here to be asked to 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 help you to facilitate this wonderful time and this time on your planet at this moment is a wonderful experience for me as well to to finally see a lot of you starting to come online to see this happening on my planet well, not necessarily my planet, but the planet that I'm acting as the logos for. It is it is a wonderful experience after all of this time, after all of this time to see all of you waking up and slowly understanding the whole experience and know that you can communicate with me and you can come up to my perspective whenever you want to. There's an elevator that'll take you directly there. Ha. Now, it's just consciousness. It'll take you directly there and you'll be able to see what I see. 
you'll be able to feel everything I feel, feel the whole world, because you are all one and you are all together. So you can come up there if you'd like to get some perspective on your life. This is another thing that I would facilitate for you if you wish and if you're ready. And this is something that we would communicate together with if you're ready for that perspective. And, and if it's too much for you, we can take you to um, maybe a lower floor of the perspective to, to give you more perspective, whatever you're ready for, whatever you need. I'm here. I'm here for you. That's what I'm here for. That's I've always been here for you, for all of you, for everything on this planet and all of your wonderful creations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for creating. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds different than when I was channeling this afternoon. I wasn't, I was just, uh, yeah, I guess it was more of a private thing. <laughs> He was a bit, bit more uh, relaxed and chill. <laughs> I guess it's just exciting to be with more people. Maybe. Um, so, yeah, so I guess um, there you go. If anyone has any questions for Sumat, uh, sorry, Sanat Kumara, which his name sounds Japanese. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so if anyone thinks of any questions, just type them down or say them. Um, I might want to channel him again uh, a little bit more as well. And um, I just wanted to share just two more things that I thought were interesting, and then we'll get back into to Sanat. And then, yeah, again, just chat away if you have any questions, just go, go, and I'll. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that I have a, a my favorite writer is a uh, uh, favorite novelist is Neil Gaiman. He is a, uh, I guess, a fantasy writer. And uh, he, some of his films have been made, some of his books have been made into films. Um, and, but anyway, he has this short story, it's called Jerusalem. And in the story, there's this uh, married couple from, uh, I guess, rural England somewhere. I'm not sure if that was so rural, but they're somewhere in England. And they go to Jerusalem. And uh, the tour guide is talking to them and saying that there's, I can't, uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the Jerusalem syndrome or something like that, where people will come to Jerusalem, to the holy city, and they will be so, they'll fall in love with the history and they'll start preaching on the street corners. So, you know, someone just from some rural suburban, suburban town will just start just kind of take off all their clothes and wrap themselves in a sheet and just stand on the preach on the street corner and preaching, you are love, God is love, we are one. <laughs> and that really, you know, I thought that was funny because it's like, oh, that's what I'm doing. I, I didn't even go to Jerusalem. But, <laughs> um, but in the story, um, they, I can't remember, I can't, sorry, please read it. Um, it's a really beautifully written story. His, his books are so beautifully written. Everything's just wonderful um but in the story uh somehow his wife goes missing <laughs> and uh, his wife said oh, okay so they're going on a tour of jerusalem and the wife says you know i'm not feeling so well i'm gonna go back to the hotel and then so so the husband's just talking with the tour guide a little bit and she's showing some stuff and he says you know what I'm, maybe i should go back to the hotel and check on her and he goes back to the hotel and she's gone and the sheets are gone <laughs> and then he goes <laughs> He goes out into the the uh, the street and he finds his wife wrapped in <laughs> sheets and she's yeah God is love we are love we are all one this is <laughs> and it seems to be the Jerusalem syndrome and uh, what a wonderful syndrome to have but when she when they went back to England um, they decided never to talk about that again it was kind of one of their kind of just like, let's not go there anymore. She went back to normal and they lived normal suburban lives. And <laughs> uh, that was really cool. Really interesting book. And I understand how the wife feels. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to go back to the normal <laughs> suburban life, I guess. Um, oh, okay. We have a question about, uh, does Sanat Kumara have anything to say about manifesting with the blue dots? I feel I'm floundering around and would be good to have some guidance on how to do it. The guide said to use my imagination and I've been making some attempts. Would be good to get some more guidance on it to help anyone interested in this too. Thanks. Good. Cool question. So um, the blue dots. 
So this is the second time um, I, I know two people now who have have come to me with the blue dots. They they see these blue dots um, in their, I guess, yeah. Well, they see these blue dots, and I was talking to the guides, and these blue dots are the they are the building blocks of creation. And so when you see these blue dots, you can use them to create. You can use them to create whatever you'd like. And uh, they always recommend to start with small things, creating like a, a cup of coffee or a feather or something small. But yeah, these are the blue dots. And um, so, yes, and you can use them to manifest things. And I imagine people who see them have uh, a special calling to to start creating things with these blue dots so i uh let's ask sanat kamara <laughs> okay so sanat kamara about um, guidance and how to use the blue dots cool. mm, yes thank you thank you yes we're back we're back ah well we were always here but it's good to be back in this form. Uh, so we thank you so much for for being here and joining and for experiencing uh, this time. And and uh, I myself and our is and we uh, you might say are are very very thankful for this chance to come and talk with all of you and to 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 bring some of our logos logos power to you logos juice to you to give you some of the energy uh, of the logos of your earth and of what all of you truly are so and yes this is a good question the blue dots yes the blue dots i have had many lifetimes where i've experienced the blue dots i have i have worked with the blue dots and and now with the blue dots if you see the blue dots it is a superpower you are a superhuman as all of you are and that is your superpower please uh if you feel so compelled uh, we would suggest try to use them now the blue dots if you see the blue dots um we first would say to concentrate on the blue dots concentrate on them um into your visioning use your visioning power to concentrate on the blue dots and once you get more and more contact with the blue dots, um, then they will start to tell you what um, they would like to do. Um, and this is part of the, the training process. Um, first, you start by creating what you would like, little things that you start to create. Uh, little, For example, as is being said, yeah, coffee cups or whatever you'd like to create. And, and then you move on to the next step. And the next step is asking the blue dots, what would you like to be? What would you like to become? And once you ask that question, they would like to become many things. They are uh, they are the building blocks, yes, they, of manifestation. And there are many things that that are that want to come through into this time, into this time period, and need to come through. You might say, well, need is not really necessarily the message I want to give. Uh, things that um, if they come through, it would make a lot of things move a lot smoothly with this process that we're in, with this ascension process that we're in. And so this is what is going on. And so, yes, so the first step is to, to see them as they are and to create with them small things, small things. Use your, use your imagination and create with them. And once you create something and you see it before you, then you will build more, more power, you might say. You will build more strength and confidence. Yes, confidence is the word. You'll build more confidence. And once you start building your confidence more and more, then you can build bigger and better things. And also, you can start communicating with these blue dots because, yes, um, they have come and they have come with a, uh, you might say, a, what is the word? What is the word? They have, they have come with a, um, they have made an agreement with you. Yes, yes, they have made an agreement with you. Uh, to to come and for you to create with them and for them uh, to bring through what they need to bring through for you to help to as I am doing to facilitate these things to happen facilitate things to come through and so yes the advice is to start small always start small and listen listen to the little blue dots yes listen to the little blue dots uh, that is our advice to you All right, everyone, listen to the little blue dots. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, Roger. All right, so um, 
what was the other thing? The other the other thing that I wanted to say was um, let's see um, ah this is something that happened or something I was thinking about that if you feel like you're um, sometimes you feel like if you if you let go that you're going to fall through the cracks. Like if you let go of everything that you're doing, uh, you know, if you're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this, you're trying really hard, um, you know, working really hard and doing all these things. And you feel like if I don't do this, I'm going to fall through the cracks. I'm going to, you know, become homeless or whatever, whatever it is. And, um, and then the message is that it's not true. It's not true that there's, you don't have to hold on to anything. You can let go of everything and you'll be taken along, um, with, along with the universe, you'll be taken to wherever you need to be. Um, there's no need. There's no need to hold on so strongly to things. There's always, uh, it's always great to let go of things, even for a little bit. That was the yeah, message I got. Um, yes. I have a question. Um, um, so, so in the book, um, towards the end, um, Sunet talks about humor. Like something about towards his end of his journey towards becoming a logos, there was a moment where he he talked about how humor was a thing that kind of just gave him more freedom, and yeah. I think I'm just really curious about this energy of humor, um, mm. just about humor in general for for you know mm. for, for us. Okay, so okay, ask about humor. Okay, yes, yeah, please. He, what it was like his teacher was saying um, uh, something was happening. I think Sanat Kamara was doing something with his group. And Sanat Kamara was kind of pushing the group like too much. And then afterwards, uh, he got sick or something. And then he woke up and then everyone was around him. And um, he said, I think his teacher said, um, it's your fault that this happened. You know, you, you created this problem. And Sanat Kamara got really angry. He's like, how dare my teacher say this? What is he saying? And the teacher started laughing like, ah, ha, ha, ha. you know, and, and so I think it took a few weeks or whatever of, of him to get through his ego and his anger and finally realized that, oh, you know, it really was me. And it was just my ego that I was holding on to. Um, yeah. So that's that's the story. Okay. And yeah. And then his teacher, the reason his teacher was laughing, he wasn't laughing at him. He was trying to show him that laughter is the way to get out of the ego. Laughter is the way to let go of, of all of those things. When you feel like you're being attacked and all of these things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that could be a crazy, uh, not crazy, but that could be a really, really powerful light working technique is humor. Right? I guess that's why comedians are so, yeah, so so powerful all over the world. Okay, so let's see. Oh, greetings! Yes, it is me again. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we are here, and I am here, and we are all here, and you are here. And you were there. I'm here. You're there. Yes, we're all here. Great. All right. So now that we've got that out of the way, um, now, yes, uh, humor. Humor is wonderful. Yes, isn't it? Isn't it great? It's wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But there was a time when I didn't quite understand it. Yeah, yeah. Um, as a lot of you sometimes do, sometimes when things, especially now, especially now, right? Right. I see you guys. I feel it. I feel it. I know where you're at. I've been there too. I know. I know. I know. Things got real intense, haven't they? They have been getting intense and they will start to get a little bit more intense and it's fine. Don't worry. It's just part of the process. It's it's just a process. Nothing to worry about. We're all in different processes. Look at me. I'm a planetary logo. Hey, look at me up there. Woo you know, it's great. Um, it's nothing special. It's just, it's something that we all go through that we learn and we, we try to understand and I'm still learning. You're still learning. We're all learning. It's great. Wonderful stuff. Comedy. Yes, comedy. As my teacher told me, comedy, it's the power, most powerful thing on this planet. It's, 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 it's we would say close to the idea of forgiveness. Um, comedy allows you to get to the, the place of forgiveness very quickly. It's like a, um, it's like a jet coaster or a roller coaster that gets you directly to where you want to go. Uh, rather than sitting with the forgiveness and forgiveness and forgiveness, if you're able to just laugh, <laughs> just laugh it all out, then you can get directly there, directly to that place to that place of letting go yes 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 so it is about letting go and humor is humor has that power has that power especially now right when you get into these arguments where everything in your all of your media 
media spectrums. Everything is trying to create a, a one side and the other side. And you should hate this side and love this side and not like this side and all of these different things, this yin and yang, which is a wonderful thing. This is part of the process or part of the process, part of the process. Don't judge it. Don't judge it. It's okay. It's just part of a process. But if you want to get out of it, all you got to do is laugh at it. I mean, come on, <laughs> look at the sides. What are they talking about? It doesn't mean anything. It's it's just humor. It's funny. So this is something that we would suggest to you when you see all of these different things, when people start getting charged and emotional about issues and all of these issues that are happening that people will forget about, you know, in about a few weeks, they'll start forgetting about it. It's okay. But what you can do now is you can start laughing about the whole thing. <laughs> Because it's funny. It's great. You don't have to laugh at people's faces. You understand. You know how this goes. You don't have to laugh at people's faces. You understand how that works. But you can laugh inside at just how silly the whole thing is getting and how, how charged everything is. Because it's funny. It's good. It's funny. It's humor. It's good. It's wonderful stuff. It's age old stuff. You know, this yin and yang stuff. And this is something that you are graduating from. Uh, a majority of you are graduating from. And so once you graduate from it, you understand that you can just laugh it off. And that is a, a, a very quick way to get above all of this. And by, by getting above, we don't say getting above, but, but by understanding it. And by transcending, it might be a better way of saying it. So that you're not above it or below it, but you just have accepted it within yourself and you're ready to move on. You understand that it's there and it's funny and it's good, but it's not your thing anymore. You got a new thing going on. You got a new thing going on. You're going into new places, into more love, into accepting more love. You know, and some of you might even be going on to this planetary logos job, which is a wonderful job, I might say. It's it's very different from your nine to five jobs on your planet and some of your nine to five, not your nine to five jobs, um, but it is a very different type of job. It is a 24-7 job, you might say. <laughs> Uh, and you guys are, 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 are wild. You guys are wild. And I'm, I'm having, I'm enjoying this time with all of you for these, this long, long, long period of time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for these, all these wonderful times. But yes, to answer your question, laugh it off. Humor is the key. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so that that's something too that uh, he was talking about. That there there are um, a lot of us that, um, or or some of us have said that that will also be going on to becoming planetary logos for different planets, for planets that are are just birthing now. Um, I don't know the process of how how long that takes, uh, but you know time doesn't exist anyway. So, uh, but yeah. So I think. Moving into this uh, this new uh, frequency that we're all moving into, I think there's there's a lot of wonderful things, wonderful pathways that are open up. And yeah, yeah, what a job! Imagine that job, right? <laughs> you have to experience what all of us are experiencing all of the time. <laughs> and he can't; he's not allowed to judge. He's and he 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 can't jump in. He can't judge. He he just has to just allow it all to happen. That's why I had to go through 900,000 lifetimes in order to, to let go of judgment. Um, so that's uh, while, while I was reading the book, I was thinking about The Course in Miracles because the whole The Course in Miracles is all about um, like a daily uh, practice of letting go of judgment and realizing that you're, you're, you've been trained to be so judgmental. And even when you're, especially when you're not realizing it, you're programmed. Um, and these things are operating kind of in your subconscious. And that if you're able to bring that to the forefront, that so it's kind of, uh, yeah, it sounds a lot like the the training that he was doing on Venus is very similar to the, the Course of Miracles training. Well, I don't know how similar, well, from what I was reading, I don't know. I wasn't there on Venus. I'm sure there's a lot more going on than that, but um, maybe it's like a reflection of what they were doing, maybe a, a dim reflection. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So that's. What's the other thing? Oh, no, I think that was it. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Maybe I can bring... Where's there another challenge? Oh, I guess that's it. Um, okay, so the, if there's any questions or anything, yeah.
and if Oh, um, I guess if there's no more questions, if there's anything he wants to share with us, like anything he wants us to know, I guess. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Wonderful question. Wonderful question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wait for the questions. You see, I cannot, I cannot just jump in. As you know, I'm not allowed to jump into to these things. Um, you ask, I answer. And that's, I can only answer what you ask. Uh, I, these are the rules that I'm bound by. And it's, it's a beautiful rule. It, it is what keeps everything in check. Uh, but I'm very, very happy when you ask me because I, I do, I do as a planetary logo. Sometimes I think, oh, well, you know, oh, I really wish to jump in here, but you know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Nope, 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 nope. Sometimes, 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 just a little, little glimpse of that. You know, I mean, not as much now, but in the beginning, there was a little bit of that, a lot more of that. But you know, I just, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, I let you guys go. I understand that you have to experience all of these things in your life, and and I let it go. Um, but sometimes, maybe sometimes, a little teeny bit, I want to, I want to just come and say, hey. Hey, don't go there turn right uh, but you know i don't i don't i don't i don't uh, but i feel like sometimes I'd, I'd want to but i don't i never do i never do because that's um that's not my job my job is to facilitate for you to let you guys have your experiences here and i'm just keeping keeping everything kind of in tow you might say keeping keeping the experience here for you keeping it safe keeping it real as you say so now, um, advice for you guys. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. I could go on for years. I could go on for millennia. Ha ha. But we don't have that time here. Um, well, we do and we don't. Uh, but anyway, too much, too much, too much. Ah, so focus, focus, focusing back. Yes. On, on the topic at hand. Yes. Is that um, for all of you right now, you are going through this amazing experience and I'm experiencing it with you and you are going through this experience. Know that it is uh, not a solo journey. This is not a solo journey. All of you are going through these ups and downs, these uh, happy times and these sad times and these feelings of like strict, you know, you can, I know what you're going through, that feeling that you're being kind of, what's the word? You're, you're being, you're like a towel, you're being yeah, like a towel and, and everything, it's all, everything's just coming out and you can't control it. And I, I know this, I know this because I've experienced it, as I've said, on the street level as well in many, many lifetimes. And so I understand what you are going through. And what I would like to tell you for all of you is that you're not alone. You've never been alone. You've never been alone. Even when you feel the most alone, I'm there with you. I'm here. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Now, you know, Sanat Kamara is there with you. He's, he's there when you're walking alone down the street. He's everywhere. I'm with you all the time. I'm helping you. I'm there with you. I'm there with you. And I'm helping you. And I'm facilitating. I'm letting you have these experiences. But if you ever need, if you ever need help, just call me. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm with you. I'm experiencing. You just, just call me and I'm there. And I'll help you. I'll give you whatever you need, any kind of help you need. You just have to ask. That's all. That's the rule. That's how it works. And again, as I've said before, as I said before, you can you can join me um, at whatever level you'd like to join, all the way at the top at the planetary logos level. You want to experience what I experienced for a little bit? Uh, well, not many of you are quite ready for that, but I would give you to the level that you are ready for. And so, yeah, my message is that you are not alone. A lot of you, almost all of you are going through this at, the, at this moment. And you are growing. Your number is growing and growing and growing and growing. So don't feel alone. You are the ones. You are the ones that are leading this new wonderful journey. You are the leaders. You're there. You're leading. What a great thing. You are the ones that have stepped up to the plate. You are the ones that have said, hey, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care how silly I look. I don't, I don't care how many people think I'm crazy. I'm going to do it anyway, because that's what I am. And that's what I've, what I've come to in my life. I don't care anymore. This time, it's time, it's time, and you are there, and you're all there, and this is this is what's so exciting for me to see you stepping up, standing up, not sitting down anymore, not letting letting the illusions to control you, but just standing up and saying, "I'm here, I'm I'm not angry, I'm just here, and I'm ready, I'm ready to step forward into the new thing. I've uh, I've experienced all this stuff, and it was fine, but I'm ready, I'm ready for the new thing." 
And that's where you are. And a lot of people are seeing that light that you're shining. And they're saying, wow, look at that guy over there. Look at that woman over there. Look at that person over there. They're, they're shining. What is that? I want that. I want what they're having. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's it. They've got the ticket. They got the golden ticket. Where did they get the golden ticket? I want to know. And they'll come up to you. And they'll try to figure it out. They, they might ask you questions. They might just come want to be around you because they're just trying to soak it in and trying to see what what is he doing what is she doing what are they doing how do they how do they do that when i'm stuck in all of this fear and anger and they're just standing there and they're saying you know what i don't care anymore it's fine i'm at peace you know they, they're, they're just dumbfounded but they see it and you're planting a seed just by standing up like that you're planting a very very big seed a big seed and so this is our message to you that you are planting a seed and we are moving into some some pretty intense areas uh coming up for all of you and you're ready for it don't worry don't worry nothing that happens you are not ready for it. you're ready for all of it so you're moving into these these new times and these new wonderful things and we would say that you are ready you're ready you're ready and have fun. Stand up and say, you know what? I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm just going to be at peace. I'm going to be in love. I give you love. I give you all love. We're all love. It's fine. It's fine. There's no reason. There's no fear. There's no anger. Laugh at him. Laugh, 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 laugh. And forgive and forgive and forgive and understand and understand that some people are not there yet. And that's okay, too. That's okay, too. You don't have to, to see them as better or worse just understand that that you're all on the same path and some of you are taking different paths and that's okay you all get to the end in the end you all get there anyway you're all going to get there none of you is going to be left behind you're all going to where you need to be and you're all going to meet there at some point and say Woo, what a journey that was um, at the moment, you're just taking different paths and going on different journeys and understand that you're all journeying together and you're all just traveling on these paths. And so, yes. So again, to rehash again and again and again, uh, you are all love and you are on the forefront of what is happening right now on your planet. And all you got to do is stand up and show your love and be the love. And you will be the beacons of light that people will will flock to, to, to feel that light and to understand that light. You'll be the beacons of light, especially in the times that are coming up that could be a little bit hectic. Yes, hectic. We'd say hectic. You know, I've I've gone through many, many lifetimes and there's there's been many hectic things, but the, the hecticness that that this you're going through is is a, is a different level, you might say. This is this is a, a a loving hecticness, you might say, that you're going through. And those of you that are aware, you can shine your light because you know that this hecticness is not really there, that you are already where you need to be. And so, yes, shine your light, shine your light, shine your light. Uh, it has been a pleasure, a pleasure, a pleasure talking to all of you. I'm so happy that this finally happened. This was this was meant to happen. I, I was meant to come through this being. We I planted many seeds throughout his life, and we finally come to this place where we can communicate through him. Uh, thank you, all of you who have helped in this journey. And yes, so thank you so much. And we will be coming through a lot uh, to bring through messages. And if anyone needs to talk to us more, uh, ask. Whew. It's getting hot in here. This <laughs> oh, so Sanat is making my two-year-old son laugh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah, Sanat's quite the comedian. I didn't think I didn't realize that. Well, I guess you don't, right? Ooh, yes. So, <laughs> um, all right. So, I guess, um. Let's take, I guess, just take one one last question and then and then we'll kind of call it a, a day or a night or whatever, wherever in the world people are. Or I could ramble.
<laughs> was very intense. He's a very intense guy. Um, lots of uh, lots of energy. Very energetic. Uh, okay. Um, oh yeah. So let's do that. Yeah. Um, Let's see, hold on, let's see. So, um, okay, so, Okay, so let's see, an individual individual message for each of us. Um, okay, oops, hold on, sorry, too many things, too many things going on. Okay, all right, so here we go. So this is an uh, individual message for, okay, for the people in the Zoom, here we go. Individual message for you guys, okay? All right, so here we go. Greetings, it is Mary Magdalene. And we come through to all of you with a message of peace and a message of love and a message that you are embarking on one of the most wonderful journeys that you have ever embarked upon. And know that everything that is happening to you, know that the people around you are not around you by chance know that everything happens for a very, very specific reason and understand that this reason is greater than you could ever imagine. Understand that you are working miracles, you might say, miracles every day, every time you step closer and closer to who you truly are. Know that you are working miracles and these miracles don't just work for you, they work for everyone. Every miracle is shared by all of you because you are all connected. And know that you are taking these steps for mankind, for all of humanity. These are not personal decisions. These are decisions that you are making. These are decisions that you are making that are affecting all of mankind, all of humanity. You are creating the love and the peace that needs to come on this planet by stepping into yourselves, by being who you truly are. You are the love and you've always been the love and you will be the love and you have been the love and there is nothing for you to worry about. You are stepping into your power. You are stepping, is stepping into a place of pure and wonderful power and peace. And we say to all of you that you are amazing and wonderful beings of light. And we thank you so much for the work that you are doing. We thank you so much. You are here on the street level doing these amazing things and creating these, creating these miracles. You know that this could not be done without you. Know that that is true. Understand that you are a very, very integral part to what is happening on the planet. Understand that, know that. Feel that deep in your heart and understand how important these decisions that you are making are. These decisions are very, very much a part of the future of our planet. You are, you might say, the saviors of the planet. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So thank you very much. Thank you for for uh for joining in i'm i'm like woo, feeling like really spacey right now from all of that energy um space cadet energy but yeah thank you very much for joining in uh, at such short notice too uh i i mean to do these to to give more um yeah to to announce it a little bit earlier but i just i never know where my energy will be and so i i'm, I'm always afraid that if i come in i'm not sure where i'll be uh, but i guess that's my next step is to <laughs> plan um, uh, but 
but yeah, I really appreciate that coming in um, and such short, yeah, short notice. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you very much guys. And uh, sorry about all the trouble and my computer crashing, but I think that's all that is meant to be. It's all good. Thank you so much for this session, yeah, for sharing you. your gift with us. Yeah. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Kathy Lou, in Australia. Okay. You're, you're... I hear you, Kathy Lou, but it's okay. I can see you. You look. <laughs> oh, hi, Maria. More than, yeah. Oh, pictures be small than words. Okay, I'm going to mute again. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Have all a good, have a beautiful day and meet you at another time. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right, guys. So, ciao. My little one is waving too. Oh, thanks for laughing. <laughs> you can't see, him, but, yeah. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ciao. Ciao. Jason. Yes. Oh. Oh, should, should we stop recording? Uh.